and Moosas, and Toots, and Sundiatas, and Chisholms, and Medusas, and Cleopatras. We be the very assailants against the fragile supremacy that was built off the backs of the crumbs, built off the backs of those of the Joneses that built, found the prospects in the woods of change. Standing tall, breaking the barriers of cultural norms as I push the envelope to what a human being is supposed to be. What? People have forever sown the quilt that wraps around this world. History has scripted us as animals and savagely sell those souls into slavery, but I am Black History Like a man who held so much gold, so much gold that he broke in an economy. History won't showcase you that this <laughs> sorry y'all. <laughs> right. Start again. History. Won't showcase you this truth as it collected from the rises of the graves digging up lies that were buried into the screaming cries. I am a Black. woman standing behind a prophet on a hot summer night screaming, tell them about the dream, Martin. Yes. Yes. Or testifying against the judges and the jury and the white faces thinking they could implement the patriarchy or infect or reject our leaders as the as he soliloquies how their flaws and their uh, flaws in their laws and shifted the trail. Yes, I am talking about that angel named David. Davis. History won't shed light on those living in the intel living in intelligence of those with real minds become the very resistance that breaks the change they carry on our names. What history whitewashing the passion, pride, plagiarizing passages, passing past, pieces, painting. I am Black History. Call me Sundiata, the king of the kingdom of Mali. My reign stretches just as far as Alexander the Great. So much Black History has been stolen out of our pages in this chapter book. Words blurred, concepts plagiarized, and we are all scripted by another's eyes, and I am tired of the living in the lies as I open my third eye, but I am Black History. And I'm tired of hiding it this time. Sincerely. <laughs>